Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to look at how to do some statistics on the Sharp EL501X calculator. Alright, so the first step is to put our calculator into statistics mode. We do this by pressing the second function and then on keys. So, second function, on. And you can now see the word stat above the zero on the upper right hand side of the calculator. All right, now we need to enter our data set. Let's say this is our starting data set, 30, 40, 40, 50. You enter this by entering the number and then pressing the M plus key. After the first entry, one will appear on the screen. This tells us we have one number in the data set. Our next two numbers are both 40. If you have multiple of the same number, you can enter it on the stack then the multiplication key, and the number of times it appears, and then the M plus. You can now see we have three items in our data set, and our final number is 50. So again, we press 50, M plus. You can now see we have four numbers in our data set. But what happens if we make a mistake when entering our numbers? To remove a number, we use the M plus CD part of that key. So let's say we didn't mean to enter 50. This is our actual data set here, and we made a mistake. Well, if we want to take 50 out, we again put 50 on the stack, then press second function, and then the M plus with the CD over top. Now we have three. This tells us we have three numbers in our data set. These three. All right, let's take the 40s out. Just like how we entered them, we can put 40 on the stack times two, and then second function CD. All right, you can see we now only have one number. That's our 30, which is the actual number we want. And then let's enter the rest of the correct data set. So that's 345s, you can see we now have four numbers in our data set, and 60. All right, we now have five numbers and the correct data set in our calculator. Let's move on to doing some of the calculations. All right, the first thing we want to find is our mean, or the X bar. So, to find that, we press this key here, the STO with the X bar on the top left hand side. And we get 45, which, looking at the data set, we can tell already is the correct mean. Alright, and now if we want to find the sample standard deviation, we would use this key here, the SX which is located right here, over top of the RCL key. So, we press this, and we get 10.6066, etc., which is our sample standard deviation. If we want to get our population standard deviation, we would press second function, and then the same key, the RCL key. And we get our population standard deviation. If we wanted to double check how many numbers we had in our data set, we could press this right bracket with the N over top and see that we have five numbers in our data set. If we want to see the sum of our data set, we would press the second function key and then that same key and see that the sum of all of our numbers is 225. And if we wanted to see the sum of squares of our numbers, we would use the STO key second function, so second function STO, and there is the sum of squares of our numbers. And if you want to return to our regular calculator mode, we would go second function on, and you can see the word stat is no longer in the upper right hand side of the screen, so we're back to our regular, regular calculator mode. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests.